And good morning. I'm off today on a solo cruise, even though I think there's something on my lens. Up, oh, it's my own spit. I'm off on my morning exercise slash skateboarding routine while Sarah's back at the apartment getting some work done. I'm gonna join her in just a minute, but we have plans all day. After we get a little bit of work done, she's gonna hang out with her family, and I'm gonna go off on my merry way and explore New York more. So today's all about exploring and trying fun new things, and Sarah will be joining the party shortly. But first, since I'm in this area right now and it's extremely beautiful, and there just seems to be little spots scattered here and there, I'm gonna get a session in. Okay, I'm back at the Peachy Pad right now, and I had a bunch of Q&As on my Twitter that I was supposed to do with Brett, and I just never did. So, wow. I'm gonna answer one of them right now, and it's a question from, it's actually a question that comes up pretty consistently. It's by Dylan. All right, how can you set yourself up for multiple things at a time? You have a successful company, a pro skateboarder, and you're a vlogger. Now this kind of comes with all territories of YouTube. I feel like most YouTubers have different avenues of revenue and different crazy things that they try to dabble into every other day or so. And this is the same thing that Sarah's doing. Sarah set herself up for a bunch of things as well. How would you answer that question? Young, young lass, you're better at this question too. Did they ask how? How? How. How now, brown cow? I Number one thing is first focusing on what you truly love. Like what is that thing that is your everything? So for me it started with videos and like filmmaking and stuff and I focused in on that. And then once you kind of have that established, it's figuring out, okay, how can I kind of automate this in a way that I can free up some time to do something else? And I know with you it started out with skateboarding. It did. And then you were like this filming thing. This allows me to bring what I'm doing in the skateboard world and make it bigger. So it's kind of like, what are your interests and how do you make it bigger? How do you expand? How do you free up time after you spend so much time on it? And that's the hardest part is that scaling. It is. So that's it is what actually really hard. Yeah. Has to figure out individually. Yeah. The number one thing is just finding out what you are so passionate about that you can't stop doing. That's a very good point. You're very smart. And remember. Be sure to monetize, monetize your art while you're your at art. it. Oh, schnaz. One thing I want to add, something I feel like comes naturally is the amount of work you're willing to put in. So if you're excited about multiple projects, you're probably going to be willing to put in 18 hours in a day to get things done. Because a lot of people think it sounds crazy. This dude works all day on this craft. He must just be a really hard worker. But most of the time, it's just because they're excited to work. So they build projects that they know they're going to be excited about as long as they're awake. Even while they're sleeping. We hate just kidding. Sleeping is important. I hate it, but it's important. Just like eating. We all hate it. Showering. Showering is stupid too. I skip that all together. I already got yeah. rid of that. Yeah, we don't shower, so. <laughs> I have no idea how to use any of these machines, but the point is, I'm trying. We back. We back out here. And where is here, you ask? B and H. It stands for be here. Because that's where we be. Here. Beautiful and handsome. 
You are so handsome. That was funny. Currently on a mission right now, I'm getting a hard drive because Sarah won't let me borrow hers for the entire trip, which makes no sense. And then you're getting a charger? I want more Apple bands. Actually, there's a company that's sending me Apple band watches right now. Yeah, 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 I'm super stoked. They are? If a tech company ever hits me up, I should assume that they've already hit you up. Like, I feel like that's just happening. And you have headphones in right now. What are you, are you listening to music? No, I'm Am just, I that boring? No. Does the blue speak to you? It does. Does the four terabyte speak to me? It's yes, ma'am. Ooh, that's dangerous. What did you just teach me? <laughs> I'm saying, okay, this is a lesson for hard drives or SD cards. When the size goes up, that means uh, you're gonna put more of your valuable footage and pictures on it. And if that one hard drive fails, you lose more. So if you're gonna back it up continually, I probably won't. So I, yeah. I, sh I just go with the two terabyte. Yeah. But the blue, though, my friend. That's why you never like, even if you're not shooting 4K, go with a 64 gigabyte card. Because if you accidentally format 128 gigs, <laughs> duh, dude. This is like level one. I know that. And now we're doing a little more shopping together. We've been needing to get some more clothes, especially me, with pants and whatnot. And our schedules today have been somewhat conflicting because she has to meet up with her parents later. She has certain calls at certain times, certain meetings at certain times. So we're trying to get it organized, and this is sort of our perfect way of, oh my gosh, uh, yeah, getting out together and hanging out and enjoying the beautiful New York before we put our heads down again and get more work done. Got the cops right here, got the taxi real close. Whoa, that's like a famous skate spot. Yeah, crazy. Oh, this looks like a pickle. Also, I don't know if many of you have tried boosted boards, but the turning radius isn't super good because if it was so good, you would die because you go so fast on them. But it's a little scary to figure out. You can't just be like choo, 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 through traffic like you think you can. And also when it comes to a helmet, I 100% recommend it. Sarah's got the right idea. She's killing it with the helmet game. I just completely forgot because <laughs> I'm not used to wearing helmets while skateboarding. But when it comes to something that goes 30 miles an hour, bruh. Your board disconnects out here? So Herald Square is different from Times Square. Herald Square is where we went and saw that like Victoria's Secret or whatever. Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Wanna race? Let's go. I'm gonna fall because I don't know how to accelerate with these yet really well. Oh my God. I literally fall off as we're saying that. First one to hit a pedestrian gets four cents. You're on. All right, you're on. Okay, now we're racing back right now. Sarah's gonna be with her parents, and I actually have other plans for the night. I wanna go out one more time and just hang out, utilizing the city to the best of my ability right now, trying to do as many things as people recommend me do, and uh, yeah, I just wanna skate. And guys, we were out and about. We had a very fun computer session. Sarah and I we just plugged away and uh, got a lot done. It was cool, it was productive. Anyways, here's a spot right here. It's a local park. Uh, it's sort of a kid's park, which feels a little awkward to pull out a camera. Creepy guy filming at a kid's park. I don't know, but I see nobody around. I see this little obstacle, which I have no idea what I can do on, this little ledge right here, and just kind of random things. So to end the night, I definitely want to have just a, a fun session. A, just a nice, relaxing, grinding session. productive day in the life of me. Uh, the skateboarding was fantastic. I actually, the late shove it tricks that I did, it's kind of hard to explain, but at the very end, the last three tricks I did over the barrier, they were tricks that happen after you ollie. So you don't lift off with a kick flip over the 360 flip, you actually just ollie and then you have to perform the trick. So the late 180 with my feet, the late shove it this way and the late shove it that way, those tricks are super hard for me. So it was really nice to actually land tricks that I don't do very often at all, which is sort of my goal with everything that's happening. Somebody even asked, 
are new tricks part of your new thing? Yeah, I mean, if I learn a new trick that day, that is part of my learning new things. And this morning as well, I try to get creative and do fun, silly tricks, and that's sort of what I'm experimenting with right now because I do traditional tricks and I've been doing them forever. And right now I'm in the creative zone of trying to come up with you know new things for me at least, maybe things that are super easy for Jason Park. But you know what, why would I compare myself to Jason? He's the greatest. And a huge thank you for tuning in today because tomorrow we have another video and we're gonna be doing this every single day. And in New York, it's been really easy to go out and just sort of have fun all day, every single day and hang out with Sarah. It's just, it's my favorite kind of content. Editing it is the best because I get to, first of all, see Sarah in my vlogs, which is super nice. And then all the skating that I've been doing, it's super fun for me to look. And if I say fun one more time, you have to slap me in the face, my friend. But of course, I wanna end this video with a shout out to my homegirl, IKYK period I-T-S-F. It's literally spelled it's I don't actually know her real name. If you click her profile, it says me and him. So she has a boyfriend who also backs me, I think. I don't know. I just know that she backs me and I appreciate that like crazy. Thank you for supporting me and the clothing line that is no longer available, which is crazy. It's now offline. And actually, uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna spend the rest of the night uh, working on the new things, putting my creative brain in process, man. I can't wait. It's, it's been so much fun, and all these little experiments I get to do for the camera and just for myself have been a lot of fun, really. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Love you so much. Progress daily, and keep killing it. <laughs>